were looking at the mechanism of metastasis, we saw the steps here. Aggressive clonal proliferation. Please look here. Aggressive clonal proliferation. Angiogenesis into the tumor. Now, then tumor cells start loosening because they start losing E cadherin. Then they interact with the extracellular matrix. Okay. The interaction happens because of the proteins in extracellular uh, matrix that is laminin and fibronectin. The cancer cells have receptors for those proteins. There is a loss of integrins that is the transmembrane receptors. So, integrins loss also happens. So, there is interaction. Now, the tumor cells start degrading the extracellular matrix. The degradation happens by the release of uh, proteases matrix degrading enzymes metalloproteinases example collagenases and gelatinases right and also the inhibitors to metalloproteinases are less then cat catepsin d also will be increased that's also a protease okay catepsin d also increases so the extracellular matrix is degraded then the tumor cells enter the lumen. Now, when tumor cells enter the lumen, uh, there is uh, this is because of the autocrine motility factor (AMF), which increases the motility of the tumor cells. Autocrine motility factor. Also, all the debris from this extracellular matrix degradation, the debris themselves help the tumor uh, with the chemotaxis, growth promotion of the tumor, and angiogenesis. Right. So, the, that all those uh, debris becomes a food for the tumor. It eats all that and becomes, uh, it grows and there's angiogenesis and then there's, it helps in chemotaxis of the tumor so that the tumor can move. Now, we have come to the sixth point. Sixth point is a thrombus formation. Okay. So, look at this. I'll zoom it for you. Here we are actually. Thrombus formation. Sixth point. Now, thrombus formation, what happens? Some tumor cells are actually destroyed by the immune. However, other tumor cells are covered by the constituents of blood and they form a, form a thrombus. Now, this thrombus protects the tumor from immune and it also nourishes it. Strange, right? So, that is the thrombus formation. Moving on to the seventh point here, extra vessation of tumor cells. First, look at this diagram. This diagram is what we are trying to cover in this um, video. Oh, in this step, actually, extra vessation. See, it is leaving the blood lumen and going to a distal place. It is a discontinuous. Uh, it is discontinuous to the primary tumor. That is why it is called as metastatic tumor. Okay. Now, extra vessation of the tumor cells happen. Now, why does and how does the extra vessation happen? Let us look at that. So, the tumor cells, this is more like the same thing we are writing, tumor extra vessates, extra vessates to the extra vascular space, okay. Then last step here, survival and the growth of the metastatic deposit, how does it survive and grow? The extra vessated malignant cells on uh, the lodgement in the right environment, they grow further. So, if they have reached the right environment, they grow further with the influence of growth factors, okay, produced by the host tissues. Growth factors are provided by the host tissue and they can also be provided by the tumor themselves and also by the cleavage products of the matrix okay all of these will help in the growth factors uh, what are the growth factors you should know that P they are p d g f that is platelet derived growth factor f g f fibroblast growth factor t g f beta that is transforming growth factor beta and v e g f what is v e g f v g e f is vascular endothelial growth factor so you got so many growth factors now vgf vascular endothelial growth factor platelet derived growth factor fibroblast growth factor 
transforming growth factor beta. So all these will help in the survival of this metastatic deposit. One thing you should know here, immune will try to clear it off, but if it survives, then it can also metastasize into other parts of the body. Okay. So you should note here, immune will try to eliminate the deposit. However, if it if it cannot, if it cannot, it will survive and it can also metast metastatize into other parts of body. Okay. Let us revise what we have studied in this video. Let me zoom out. See, we saw that um, first step is aggressive clone with angiogenesis. Second is uh, loosening of tumor cells because of loss of E. cadherin. Loss of uh, E. cadherin will lead to the loosening of tumor cells. Then um, interaction with the extracellular matrix happens because of the two proteins which are in extracellular matrix called as laminin and fibronectin. The laminin and fibronectin are, um, uh, you know, the tumor cells have receptors to these proteins. A lot of receptors they have it to these proteins, laminin and fibronectin. Then there is also a loss of integrins. Fine. Now the uh, extra uh, cellular matrix gets degraded because of lot of proteases, matrix degrading enzymes, metalloproteinases like collagenases and gelatinases. Then what happens? The there are inhibitors of metalloproteinases are less, so metalloproteinases increase. Also, catepsin D is also released. That is also a protease. So, all of them will degrade this extracellular matrix. Now, what will happen? There is entry of these uh, tumor uh, entry of these tumor cells into the lumen. This happens because of autocrine motility factor AMF. Also, the cleavage of from the matrix. Now, these product the cleavage products will nourish the tumor, may, make it grow better, give it new blood vessels. Angiogenesis happens into the tumor and then also helps the tumor achieve chemotaxis. Now there is a thrombus formation. The thrombus is formed and uh, some of the uh, cells of the tumor may be degraded by the immune. However, um, if something remains, they will be coated by the blood vessel constituents and the thrombus will be formed. The thrombus will protect the tumor and also it will nourish the tumor. Coming to the last two steps here, extra vessation of the tumor cells. The extra vessation of the tumor cells happens uh, because the basement membrane gets degraded again. Then coming to the eighth step, survival of this uh, metastatic deposit. Survival and growth of this metastatic deposit uh, happens because of growth factors which are provided by the host tissue. Host tissue provides the um, growth factors. The tumor itself provides the growth factor. Uh, the growth factors, yes, and even the Products of the degradation of the extracellular matrix which has come along with the tumor, they will keep nourishing the tumor. So, what were the what are the growth factors you should know? These are the ones PG, uh, PDGF that is uh, platelet derived growth factor, fibroblast growth factor, transforming growth factor beta and vascular endothelial growth factor VEGF. Okay. Now, at the end we can say that uh, some of uh, the immune of the body will try to remove the, this metastatic deposit. However, if the immune fails, this metastatic tumor can grow into yet another metastasis, metastatic growth in an other location. Okay, that's all in the metastasis um, mechanism. See you in the next video. Bye.